Recently, TikTok released a free CASA like IDE that is so close to CASA capabilities and UI. And surprisingly, you may want to cancel your CASA $20 plan. But wait, in this video, I decided to take it for Spain head to head coding comparison with CASA, and the results, there was a clear winner. Watch until the end to see exactly who wins this coding contest. My review criteria is simple, speed and performance. But before we start the context, this is Try or Try or Try AI, the perfect free CASA AI alternative built by TikTok to rival CASA and it's growing very fast in popularity. But does it match up to CASA AI's reputation? You can download it and install it for free. It has a nice UI that is close to CASA. From the looks, this is nice UI, which is the best CASA alternative out there. In the next few minutes, you'll see it in action and then get the answer to the question, should you continue paying for CASA AI? For functionality, it's like VS Code and promises to deliver CASA AI experience at no cost. I mean, for free. If you watch my previous video about CASA AI, you agree CASA AI is the most solid AI IDE that the industry is currently excited about due to its coding superpowers and insane speed. Speed, indeed. CASA is extremely fast. In fact, it's unmatched. I recently reviewed it against Cloud Code. Check out this video on Cloud Code versus CASA AI to fully understand what Tray AI is up against. But imagine this, the CASA AI free version has a limit, which I see like a decoy to loop you in, addict you, and gladly make you pay. Now, Tray AI steps up this offer of $20 value that you pay for in CASA for free. Sounds crazy. But where is the catch? It reminds me of how deep sick bust the AI bubble, but for AI IDEs, the game is different, which begs the question, should you subscribe to Casa AI or continue sitting on the fence for better future deals? Try first impression was not bad. The UI is decent and the import of VS Code and Casa settings was a good start, which makes it seem like the real deal. My expectation was it should match up to Casa AI features like the chart panel, the composer, the inline edit, and more. But I quickly found out its strengths and weaknesses. It was not as fast as I expected it, but neither was it too bad. Which left me the question, does it quite match up to Casa Pro version? Let me show you why. First, it helps to start with a quick summary of its features. Trey provides essential IDE functionalities which include code writing, project management, extension management, version control and more. For a start, the chat allows you while coding, you can chat with the AI assistant at any time to help you guarding the code including asking the AI assistant to explain code, write code commands, fix errors and more. The auto-completion, Trey understands the current code and provides suggested code in real time within the editor. Code snippet generation, it generates code snippets and autonomously writes at project level and across multiple files. Project builder, it automatically creates related files based on your project's description. For installation, it supports the following operating system, Mac OS 10.15 or later, Windows 10 and 11. From these features, it sounds like a solid cursor alternative, but wait until you see it in the real world coding performance. We'll begin by setting up try ai then check out the features and what you'll build with it go to try ai website and download the latest version of the ide the current version does not support Linux. in my case i showcase installing on windows for mac users the process is similar after downloading it follow the installation steps finally we've got tray ai installed Let's now see what it has to offer. As I mentioned earlier, Tray is completely free during this beta phase, giving you access to Cloud 3.5, Cloud 3.7, DeepSeek, and GPT models. When you first launch Tray AI, you'll notice its sleek, familiar interface. If you've used VS Code before or CASA, you see this UI is similar. Let me show you how to get started with your first project. You can open the project folder, open a file, clone a Git repo, or simply create a file, as well as a drag and drop of a folder. In this tutorial, we're building prompt man, a full stack man app that lets you store, organize, and deploy your best AI prompts directly into various LLMs APIs. If you've ever created the perfect prompt and then lost it, or if you're trying to copy and paste between different AI platforms, this project would be ideal for you. Tray AI is going to help us build it and we can use it as a test for its capabilities. But first, let's review the UI. The top menu is similar to VS Code and you can access all your menu items and sub items just like Casa AI and VS Code. It features a search bar similar to that of VS Code and an additional project dropdown menu for quick access as well as a quick clone for a Git repository. At the top right, we have three toggle buttons, one for the left menu, the other for the terminal, and the last one for the AI chart. The last item on the top bar is the user profile that features your theme, language settings, keyboard shortcuts, help link, contact, and logout menu items. The side menu is vertical, and like CASA that comes with the horizontal one, and it has all similar features to CASA, such as folders, search, git, debug, extensions, and a unique feature web view for this IDE. The main area UI is divided into two parts, the main area 
and a sidebar toggle where you can access the AI chat panel, similar to that in Casa AI, and the builder, which is equivalent to Composer in Casa. The right sidebar is where you find the two important AI features, the chat and the builder. The chat panel has the prompt input field where you can start prompting immediately. At the middle, there is a tip about using hash to add context to your prompt on Tray AI, just like the add symbol in Casa AI. The builder has an input field at the bottom and in the middle, two prompt examples to get you started. At the top, we have three icons, create a new chat, view history, close panel. You can also toggle the panel from the top icon. You can switch between AI models below here. The models available are Cloud 3.5, 3.7, DeepSeq V3, DeepSeq R1, GPT 4.0. In the builder mode currently, GPT is not available. In the input field, you can add the context to the chart using this option, which is similar to mentions in Cursor AI. You can give it a file or a folder for context. You can also upload an image similar to Casa, and at the further right, you can switch these AI models. Getting started, we'll open my project folder into Tray IDE. I also prepared a prompt before in my Google Docs. Here is my prompt. The project is Pronsman, create a full stack man up, as I'd mentioned before. Let's start with the project setup and design. I prefer to start with the builder so that we can compare how good it compares to the Casa Composer. We'll also go with Cloud 3.7. I copy my prompt and select Cloud 3.7. Tray starts building the project structure. It starts with npm command to initialize the project package.json. I'll click on it to run and initialize. It's running at this point and I get my timer to see how fast things are. After waiting for about two minutes, I start growing impatient and it's now time to switch to Casa free version to see if it can do better. So we switch to Casa AI and I run the same prompt in the composer. I've created another folder that is named promptman well, the one for try AI is prompts man. I quickly fire up Composer with Control I. I copy the prompt and select Cloud 3.7 and run. Surprisingly, Casa is getting the job done so fast. I think free is expensive, but let's wait and see. It generates all the files in less than 10 minutes. Now we need to see what Trey Builder is doing. I've stopped it at two minutes. Let's restart, but go with a different model. Maybe it's teething problems since 3.7 is a new model. For a few minutes, I'm wondering, no idea what to do, so I just type continue. And it seems it needed that cursor break to wake up and things are now flowing. So far, we've managed to get the package.json file and I'll accept it as we wait. I'm not sure if I should do an npm install at this moment or it may be stuck forever, but let me just run it. I'm back to cursor again to see what's missing. We need to install JSON web token. I just copy it into the chart and run the command. Back here, still installing npm. We obviously can see a clear winner. I'm back to Trey and it's trying hard to impress me. I let it skip the hard steps so that we can get the easy stuff done. Since we are now making progress, we got a number of files generated. We need to accept or reject. Things are very slow here. Somehow it's got the game back and you're now ready with seven files ready for review. I have no option but to accept. In the meantime, Casa is killing it with slick moves. I wonder why we have to open all these terminals for each command. What a waste of screen real estate and resources. Up to this point, there is no need to prompt further. I'll abandon my project since we have a clear winner of the two. My final verdict, I think Trey AI has a good UI. Fonts are awesome. They do not support my country, but still trying hard to impress me. But for Casa, it's a solid product that is above most AI IDEs, if not the best. And I guess it's worth that $20 per month price. Until I get another AI code editor better than Casa, paying that $20 as for now remains a viable option. Check out my other video where I review Casa, the paid version. Finally, that's Trey AI. It's a worthy Casa AI free alternative. Be the judge. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video useful, kindly consider giving it a like and subscribing. One like, one subscribe. Give me one more step forward to bringing you great content. Thank you. I appreciate.